morning and welcome back to the apocalypse and to the zero t hero challenge um i we're starting off with a little strategy meeting because i've come to the conclusion if i ever want to be a little bit more mobile in the apocalypse here and not spend two hours every morning and every afternoon to walk from our base to wherever we, we want to be we need to somehow address the gas and fuel situation. So this is, um, we're looking at the official Project Zomboid map project, and if you are new to the game and you're still kind of exploring the map, then big spoilers ahead, but if you spend a few hundred hours in the game and you know the map inside out already, then this is a fantastic tool to kind of plan around um, what you want to do. And that's, you know, half of success is planning, um, and the other half is something else. Um, so this is our little compound. This is our, our little base location here, right? Um, so when we're thinking about gas, what are the nearest gas stations? So we have over here, when we come into West Point, a gas station slap dab in the middle of town. And then another one at the southeastern exit of town. I'll be realistic with our current killing power, killing speed, and uh, survivability, and the fact that we are basically on the other end of the town and would have to fight all the way through there because there's no way we drive in there, kill everything, and just casually fuel up. Right? That is, you've seen how many zombies were there when we started. So, um, that is not possible. Like, we could, of course, you know, kill our way in the town, walk back to base, kill our way into town, every day get a little bit closer. That's probably going to take us two, two in-game months to get there. Power shuts off within the first 30 days. 15 or 16 days at this point are already over. So what is the alternative? Uh, the next nearest gas station is if we follow here the highway leading out of um, West Point at the four corners. Um, I would say there's probably about 50 to 100 zombies in this area. So probably manageable. Not at once, obviously, but, uh, you know, grind them down. Um, maybe be prepared to disengage and camp somewhere down the road where there's hopefully not many or not so, no zombies at all and just poke, kill, rest, poke, kill, rest. So instead of driving down this highway though, and you know, driving through West Point, the smarter way is to come over this road, which leads up here, which leads up here, which leads up to our place. Given the fuel we have, this might be a one-way trip, as in we're driving there and we're either gonna be successful or we're leaving the car behind over here because it's going to be out of fuel. In order to prepare for the trip, I've done a little bit of preparation. So let's get back into the game here. So I spent one day in game and uh, doing a little bit of prep work. Uh, let me just... Um, Grab a quick breakfast salad, salad and make one salad from the road, and then I see show you the other prep. All right. So um, you see on the ground the result of yesterday's work: a bunch of broken knives and stone knives, um, and there are thirty-five crafted spear in the back of this car, um, and I have another eight spears on me and there's probably barely any furniture left in that house and that house also looks a little bit ransacked. So yeah, I disassembled furniture, used the planks with the spears, uh, with the knives that are crafted from the various chipped stones we picked up uh, to craft spears. So because my biggest concern is that we're going to run out of weapon before we run out of zombies and that's not a situation you want to be in. Now, a smart person would have also checked the weather report, so that we're not going to be driving in thick fog, but it's probably fine. So we're also um, having a bunch of our hammers and spare wrench that we're um, running around with here, and our two gas cans are in the back, and I'm also bringing a little bit of food, 
Like the idea is if we need to stand, stay multiple days, and we probably will, we're just gonna drive away a little bit if we have gas and sleep in the car. Um, if we don't have gas and can't drive away, then that's a problem I should have considered and should have probably brought a tent. So yeah, that house alarm from two days ago, we're just gonna ignore it. That was a little bit up up to the west here. Don't have the time to care about this right now. construction site actually looks to be somewhat empty of zombies so that might be an interesting point to explore for some additional tools and weapons in the future similarly we have a warehouse here that usually has also these yeah this actually has the boxes with the by now probably rotten food we might actually find some seats in there but it's it's a little bit a race against the clock, right? Power is gonna shut off. Well, for all I know, it might be shut off already between us leaving the base and, and being here. Uh, worst case, we're gonna find a bunch of cars at the four corners and can siphon gas from those. Yeah, and of course it is a, a, a thick foggy day, but it's not like um, that would have changed my mind. Or oh, would it? I don't know. You see that, that car jumping suddenly in my way? Unbelievable. So I kind of probably would normally cut out the <laughs> drive over there, but since it's completely new area and it's kind of um, tense situation, I wanted to leave it in so that I don't forget accidentally to re restart the recording or something like that. Ah, that's kind of what I was afraid of that might happen. Okay, let's back off here. I think that is too close since we're coming to that last stretch of road that leads towards the um, towards the four corners. That's that's too close to leave that group there behind us. So that's one of those um, survivor zombie groups. I'm going to have to take that out. Come on. Uh, 
Oh Gott, five, that started moving there. Any more cigarettes? At this point, uh, that metal pipe is almost almost gone. I might as well keep using it until it is. Uh, um, quick, quick rest here. I kind of regret. Yeah. yeah. Kind of wanted to bring a chair, I forgot about it. All right, next to friends. This is so annoying. <laughs> I understand now why um, spear players put so much value into the handy perk. That gives you some maintenance to start with. Or into the professions that start you with some maintenance. the backpack guy. Hunting knives gonna be a welcome welcome change of pace. nice. I see some beef jerky chips and an annotated map. Oh yeah, that is the broken map that doesn't... There, there's nothing there. Don't bother going there. Um, am I gonna take a large backpack? Sure. Pick that other stuff up. Put a little bit back here, point five. Not gonna make me not encumbered, but we can we can drop something before we get there.
I have to say, I have a hard time judging from that bend in the road how far it actually is to the gas station. That's something I'm almost always estimating wrong. And I've driven this path probably hundreds of times. I don't know. Tens of times, dozens of times. Good thing is that the the gas is still in the orange, it's not in the red yet. street lights, which I think indicates the start of the area. And I see zombies. Okay, let's take her in from here. Only saw two. It's actually four over there. Probably more. I've got to drop some weight before fighting. Drop this on the ground. I'll also eat my salad here. Even though we're just peckish. I just don't wanna suddenly be hungry in the fight and lose one carry capacity. Alright, six six eight. That's that's gonna be fine. Eventually, we might want a holster. Uh, at the moment, it's gonna eat weight, so no. Alright, there's the gas station. Okay, we're not super far away. But there's a few zombies here, so let's do a careful. careful pull. I think this is something where the conspicuous trait really helps to make sure, like, the moment you walk into their visual range. They'll spot you and be on their way. I wonder if I maybe overdid it a little bit with uh, crafting 40 spears or something, but it's fine. Oh, right. I guess this means no more electrical, no more watches disassembling. Unmodded game, almost no reason t to get electrical higher than level 1.
Oh, there's a big group there. There's a few stragglers down here. I think I want to at least get that guy, probably that guy, before I engage the big group. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah, let's get these two and then maybe start clearing this. Yeah, it's um, a bit of a crowded place. Popular. They have a good price on their gas here because it's so far out of town. Yeah, actually, don't bother with any more watches. Uh, we might need some electrical parts far, far down the line for generator repairs, but that's not something I want to worry about just yet. Some zombies inside are gonna open the door for me. I appreciate that. There's a lot of zombies inside that spotted me, I think. But by the time they, they break the door, they've forgotten about me, so they're not gonna all suddenly path around the building. I think. I hope? Maybe? Please? Somebody, okay, let's not pull from the other side of the road. Yeah, see, they totally forgot about me. They're not coming my own. Oh, no. Rest. Might be overly cautious, I'm not sure. So the fun thing about basic spears, right, is they have, I think, two points of condition and they have a 50% chance to lose the point of condition when you attack. So yeah.
And this guy's also coming. I think like three or four zombies is a fine, fine number to engage here. Yeah. Another pipe also then gone, which I'm actually kind of, well, I don't want to say happy about, but now we can put a spear on the back and have one in the hand, so when one breaks, I can just press the one button, switch to the next spear. Ah, but I'm kind of out of weapons here, so... Unless I want to do a little bit blunt fighting instead of spear fighting. That nightstick here. Ah, come on. Fifty-nine kills now. That is um, a welcome change of pace. Strength two. Fear me, zombies. Promised survivor in all of Kentucky, also the only one. So I'm kind of debating to not even step any foot inside the, the, the gas station. Just because if it has a house alarm and I trigger that, it's gonna ruin them. And yes, we can still trigger it even though the zombies bashed in the door, bashed in the window. It's a very sophisticated house alarm that only triggers when a human walks into the store. Rather, there's, I think there's two different ones. So some house alarms trigger when you um, break a window, open a window, break a door, etc. And some trigger when you enter into the building. Anyway, I think we're going to swing over here, take care of some of these guys. Come on. 
Plant attack, please. Oh boy. Oh boy, that's that's a group. Well the zombie groups out there, that is certainly a group. Okay, and also um That just uh, this exertion mood will pop up. I don't think there's oh, there is there's somebody in the trees. There's two guys in the trees. Okay, this does not feel good sitting here. Also getting peckish and all the other food is in the car. Don't think I want to get the car closer though. I think this is kind of if we need to take a a break. If we need to spend the night here nearby, that's kind of the distance I want to be in. Right, let's just rest here. Just say until five. Zombie is never gonna beat the door on his own though. Single zombie cannot destroy the door. Not unless you're fairly close by as the player. No more being Turkish allowed. Where's that? Wasn't there a fairly big group here? Wow. Why is that this group that then wandered into the parking lot? Same reason I don't want to walk into that thing is the reason why I don't want to try to enter any of those cars. I don't want to trigger any alarms. I will, however, keep in mind that there's a gas can here. Could actually take that, fill that up. After clearing out this group here. can take one more, but that's the limit here.
Then I clean out that group, then I grab the gas can, fill it up, and make my way back to the car, I think. Part of me thinks, hey, this was ridiculous, preparing 40 spears and then using like five of them and saying, ah, you know what, nightstick, nightstick's fine. Ah, no, no, no. You know what, seven guys. Here's what we're gonna do. Some of you will get stuck on the windows and not make it around the corner here. Maybe? No, they all made it around. Well, what? What kind of zombies are you? Oh. International Zombie Anti-Window Alliance would be very disappointed. you have in your body there. That looks kind of uncomfortable. Oh, a nightstick. What? Come on then. No, 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 no. Stay on that window. You are almost through. Any day now. There we go. What a good. Excuse me. Dumbass. Um, alright. so bad. I think if these two are dead, I'm almost confident enough to just drive here and fuel up. I'm gonna be honest also, if we can snatch this car, that looks 
Mm, very nice. I think that is a four-seater with then the car cargo in the back. Exactly the kind of car you want in a vanilla plus setting. Don't, don't tell me. Okay, I'm not sure why it wasn't doing anything on this gas panel. Oh, oh, oh power is out. I can't right click anymore. Crap. Oh, no. Was just built the pump behaving weirdly. Well then, um, do I just throw them like spears away? Uh, I want to have some some cargo capacity here. Right. Fifteen spears, goodbye. And right, um, give me that backpack. Nobody there seems to be bothered. Nobody there seems to be bothered. So my plan is I'm gonna fuel up now, fill up the free gas canisters. Then we're gonna drive up the road a little bit to, you know, where the road was making the bend, a little bit later there, uh, a little bit where we, we engaged that survivor zombie group, spent the night there. And we come back in the morning and then we do the risky stuff. We go on the gas station, we check out the cars here, if we find an upgrade. Let's not do all at once here. You know, before I leave, let's kill a few more zombies here.
definitely is gonna be some some backfill here tomorrow. Alright, um, before we leave, I'm not gonna go inside for the same reasons I mentioned, but I'm gonna grab that garbage bag and the two from the back. Putting us at four garbage bags again. So that's two rainwater collectors whenever we want to build them. Going to talk about that. That's way farther back than I thought. You know what? That's this is fine. This is good enough. This is gonna be good enough. Um, let's grab some. Grab those chips. No, let's actually take that second backpack. Oh, I didn't bring a candle. I'm so smart. I'm. I'm I swear. I've played this game before. Alright, um, I'm gonna chew on some of that stuff here. Oh no, we're well fed. Uh, you know, let's get that back. And, uh, you know, we're, do we're doing the sleep in here. Just to make sure we're not getting munched for the car window. And looks like we have a lovely but rainy day. Or the second part of the gas station trip but that's gonna be in the next episode thanks for watching i'll see you next time